Hi everyone, um, we're very excited as uh, We Are Social just recently released their Digital 2019 Global Digital Yearbook. And usually uh, the We Are Social reports is uh, relied upon by a lot of experts, social media enthusiasts, uh, digital marketing professionals, e-commerce professionals in terms of reporting how in-depth is digital's uh, penetration in the Philippines. And according to the 2019 report, there are currently 76 million internet users in the Philippines and that, and also 76 million social media users. Of that total, around 72 million are social media users. So let's now uh, take a quick look about, at the report and see what they have reported so far in relation to the Philippines. So they have reported that our internet growth rankings is currently at 9 million so meaning a uh, year-on-year -year change in the total number of internet users from 2018 we've experienced a growth of 9 million internet users or an increase of 13 percent in 2019 so this is uh, great news for us so it's really a sign that more and more filipinos are going online of course in comparison to other countries in the region you're seeing Indonesia also experiencing exponential growth with 17.3 million internet users uh, going online. China has 50 million internet users um, going online for the past year and India with 97 million internet users. And for the region as well, you also have Cambodia at 4.5 million internet users. So. I guess for those of you who are really thinking about venturing into online business or thinking about how you can further improve yourself and see how you can take advantage of the growth of internet users, the growing internet users in the country, I think this serves as popular signal no? that all businesses who are looking at the internet, online, e-commerce, I think all the signs are favorable with more and more Filipinos uh, going online. Okay, so let's take a look at other data here it's it also mentioned uh social media eligible penetration ranking based on social media penetration of adult penetrate adult populations aged 13 plus in countries territories with population of over 50 million so it says here i think where are we here okay the philippines okay at 99 percent or 76 million internet users i guess it can be told that uh of course, the Philippines is a very active uh, social media user, so that is why you can say that almost all internet users in the Philippines are usually social media users one way or the other. And perhaps one of the reasons also why a lot of Filipinos go online is to be able to use uh, social media and keep in touch with their relatives, loved ones, and business associates, not necessarily limited to a platform or two, right? So let's take a look at other information in this report, um, it also mentioned that based on year-on-year -year change in social media users in countries, territories with population over 50,000, so our absolute increase is at 13% for the social media growth with 9 million internet users uh, joining the social media bandwagon for the past year, okay? And... It also reported that insofar as Facebook reach rankings are concerned, uh, there are 75 million okay, uh, Facebook addressable advertising audience in the Philippines, which is an increase of 2.7% uh, or plus 2 million. So that is why uh, Facebook is a popular um platform for advertising because of this popularity, no? uh, because of the huge base of internet users in the country using the social media platform. Okay, so let's look at the additional data presented. Facebook eligible penetration rankings, countries with the highest rates of Facebook advertising reach compared to national population age 13 and 13 plus. So the Philippines is at 98%. Um, or 75 million uh, Facebook users, okay? And then 
other data that we're seeing here is the Facebook audience largest increase. So the Philippines uh, is number two in so far as the largest increase is concerned with 2 million Filipinos joining the bandwagon uh, using the social media or plus 2.7%. Okay, so let's look at the other information shared here. Okay, so there's also a report on Instagram gender ratio ranking. So for Instagram, countries, territories with the greatest gender skew in, in, in Instagram's advertising audience. So the Philippines at 64% uh, female users, uh, 6.7 million. And then, uh, so meaning that our Instagram audience is more skewed towards women with 64%, no? 6.7 million in comparison to other countries where it is more skewed towards the male uh, population, okay? So this refers to the advertising audience as well. So that means that for those of you wanting to advertise on social media platforms like Instagram, so there's a big population there of women. So if you're targeted, if you have products and services targeting to that, targeted to that segment, then Instagram can be a good platform for you. All right. And then let's look at the Twitter reach rankings. So insofar as Twitter reach is concerned, um, based on Twitter's addressable advertising audience, so the Philippine advertising audience for Twitter is at 5 million, 75,000, an increase of 3.4% or plus 165,000. Actually, I'm quite impressed with Twitter because um, I remember uh, being able to attract students uh, who directly inquired through Twitter. And even my, my case, I also became a customer of a service provider because I saw their campaign on Twitter. So it's really not a platform to be underestimated. It has a very niche audience that can also be capitalized on, especially when you're trying to promote your products and services, utilizing various social media platforms. All right. So let's look at add-on data here. So let's look at the Twitter gender ratio ranking. So the Twitter gender ratio ranking, countries with the greatest gender skew in Twitter advertising audience. So the Philippines is at 63% or 2,965,000 female users on Twitter. All right. So, so same with Instagram. There's a higher skew for women uh, using the social media platform. So for advertisers wanting to target this segment, wanting to target active social media users who are women, then Twitter and Instagram are interesting platforms for you also. And let's look at Snapchat reach rankings. So um, although Snapchat is not really that, I mean, you know, that, that you don't really hear that many people talk about Snapchat. But, but uh, of course, for those who are active and really engaging in this platform, you're now looking at 3.7 million Filipinos on Snapchat, which is an increase of 8.8% in comparison to last year, or an addition of 300,000 users using the social media platform. Okay, or uh, I think we're, we're more classifying that like a messenger or a communication platform. And in so far as the gender ratio is concerned, 81% of its users or 2,989,600 are female, okay? Uh, also, an addressable uh, advertising audience. Countries with the greatest gender skews in Snapchat's advertising audience. So that's where the significant skew towards women. All right, so let's see some add-on info there. So let's look at the LinkedIn reach rankings. So the LinkedIn reach rankings in so far as the Philippines is concerned, so the advertising audience for LinkedIn in the Philippines is at 7.4 million, which is an increase of 10.4% or 700,000. All right. So, so it seems uh, uh, more and more Filipinos are taking advantage of various social media platforms to reach out to different segments. So I think this you should really, really check out. Okay. And of course, if you're not yet that active in LinkedIn or on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a popular social media platform to look for clients, to look for jobs. Especially if you're able to position your profile properly, you will be able to elicit uh, or generate inquiries related to your expertise. Okay? So 
Now let's look at the mobile social media growth rankings. So for the mobile social media growth rankings, the Philippines is um, is also on the list with 10 million users or 16 an increase of 16 percent of uh, users uh, using the mobile to access their social media accounts or mobile social media users. All right. And then the last but not the least is the mobile connectivity growth. Absolute figures, uh, the Philippines at 5,061,185 or an increase of 4%. Mobile connections in countries and territories and population over 50,000. And so this is recording uh, mobile connectivity growth in absolute numbers. So I hope you enjoy this data and, you know, I'm quite excited about it. We have this ongoing social media marketing tips, tactics, and strategies um, seminar series online. And then we're also going to different areas in the country conducting this session. And definitely this data will be of great use and something to reflect on in so far as coming up with strategies in terms of reaching out to these users. All right. So thank you very much for watching this video.